Hello everybody. Again, this is Valbona, QSHT level two practitioner of quantum healing hypnosis technique. I am putting this segment, which is of my own session, hold by one of my wonderful, wonderful friends, Dominica Magdalena. I have put a segment just uh, before mine. And uh, I didn't do justice when I introduced her because here in my session room, as I saw the in video introduction, I had Dolores Cannon as a channel portrayed. And uh, this was done, was channeled by this great friend of mine. She had the first copy sent to Arkansas, is where Dolores started this beautiful work. This is my session room. That's is the place, this room where I've seen so much magic, connection, noise, different dimension, different beings. There is so much tears here, so much joy, so much healing, so much traveling, so much connection, answers given. And yes, this place I've seen lots of magic. Uh, the session of mine took part in uh, Scotland. I just searched it and it was uh, January 2022, actually. As I wanted to have a, a session with Dominica, I, I flew to Scotland, but something very strange happened after my session. I was given, just as the session, as the higher self was receded, I was given, which I call it gift, this a beautiful, overwhelming feeling. And... Uh, yeah, later on they explained in the Monica session what was it about. But what was kept given constantly that like evening, which I was trying to get in, how how beautiful was that feeling of my higher self speaking like that? And I was wow, how clever and how beautiful. And you know, it was it was, it was a really, really wonderful experience for me. But what's happening during this period as I was trying to take in all the answers, it was that I was being shown me sitting giving the Monica uh, session and that was not in plan because I was supposed to fly back. It's funny enough, I've been given it nonstop. And then I just say to Dominica, I think I should give you a session. Will you be okay with that? And she, of course, she accepted. And that's why the session happened. And this is beautiful because on the day when Dominica was having session, her guide said, that's why we showed you what we showed you. Because she had to hear these things. It was her time. And that's why we keep telling you. That's why you keep they keep nudging me. <laughs> it's beautiful. And I'm trying. No, I'm trying. I know I'm doing, I believe in my gut feeling more and more and more. And sometimes some magical things happen just because I act on them. At the instant I was having the client sitting on a sofa and she said she's ready to go for upstairs to the session room, interview it's over. We must have been two hours and a half chatting and something spoke through me. And I just told her that, listen, like, I don't think you're ready. You haven't shared with me something. And I, what I'm seeing right now is you tied in invisible chains, something that shook you to the core you haven't shared with me. And she sat back and cried and cried and told me something horrendous, actually a crime that happened within the family. What made me say that? It's just a confirmation that the more I hear, I just let it go. Some days, just because I'm trusting this and I know the connection to higher self, it's getting stronger because I let it happen. It is that I give, I ask the question to my higher self. I say, whoa, what shall I do for this? And straight away come the answer with it. And I laugh for the whole day. Then I say, wow, <laughs> right. <laughs> so yes, the more you connect with your higher self, clearer it gets and you have an understanding how, how you let go. You have an understanding how they answer to you. And when they answer, you don't block it. I'm always going to judge it always. I'm human, I do wrong nonstop. Even though I'm, I'm just witnessing so much magic. Yet, you know, my I have my own lessons to learn, I call it. So, yes, it's uh, nothing is perfect in this life and it, it, it is not the way to be. <laughs> Anyhow, we can make things harder for us or easier. That's why it's good to understand things in life, uh, the troubles, as we call them, problems, to call them lessons. And that's uh, by calling it lesson, you let it go. Say, I learned that, I done that. No, to be always, oh. This is happening to me. Oh, this happened to me. You bring more to herself. That's so many way to explain that. But yes. So this segment was all, as I said, by my special friend. 
it's beautiful. I'm going to try to leave the whole segment of higher self here. There was a couple of past lives before this. I I had a bit of hard time, and but it was beautiful because I went with my feeling. I had past lives before where I seen everything so clear and I wanted this time again. But this time was like, I gone through, it was both very, very hard lifetimes. I'm calling them hard because there were very sad things happening. And then, then uh, when my higher self came in, came in, it was beautiful, the feeling to have the higher self speak in that way, that clever way. What I want to emphasize is that I want you to listen to it, especially, yeah, the end, <laughs> when Dominica asked her question, because we all, we obviously gave ourselves each other this permission. It is that uh, she asked about something that people like to hear about V. She had to have it done one because of she was traveling to states, and how my clever higher self tells her they can do nothing to you. They can bath you in it, and they can put your vibration down. It's beautiful to know that because I have clients coming just for that. They couldn't be in a close relationship, intimate with their partner because the partner have done the V. And I did have higher self telling the specific client, what do you think is not going to infect you? She had it strongly in her head that that would have harmed her being, her vessel. And higher self said, no, that's not like that at all. And then after the session, I remember she's sitting down on her sofa and say, wow, that's completely against my belief. <laughs> And uh, a couple of other questions, which I got permission from Dominica to share, and she's doing it for, for higher, greater good. She asked about how about I smoke or smoking or vaping, one of them. And they said, my higher self said, as, and I enjoy a glass of wine sometime. My beautiful higher self said, which I'm not a smoker and a drinker myself, I said, but they're invented, so you should enjoy them. If you enjoy them, it's depends. You think they're going to do harm to you, they're going to do harm. You think you, you enjoy them and it's okay, it's okay. Oh, wow. I thought it's some amazing way to see it. Anyhow, that won't be seen as uh, in my human understanding. All right, I hope you enjoy this segment. As I said, I always ask clients to solve forms uh, if they agree to share information, just not being pers nothing personal when they do the question that are to do only with them. But experience is like this, so I'm sharing mine and I hope you enjoy it. Much love from me to you. Is there anything we can do to help you go part of this work? One well, she completely loves herself, I get. And she will completely love herself? She doesn't know how to. She doesn't what? She doesn't know how to. Why do She's never done it before. So, what can we do to help her with that? It's a learning process. How long it will take her to learn that? As long as she needs, time is an illusion. I understand. What's the best first step she should take to start loving herself? She has taken a lot of steps. She is working hard on it, harder than ever I've done before. She has done miles of it, but there is miles to go. There is still miles to go? Yes. Is she getting any help with that? In the right time, step at a time. Patient, it's her weakness and she knows it and she is definitely working on it. She is very open to it and she gets frustrated and she doesn't get it her way. And nothing can be done really about it. She knows it's her hard journey and so it is. Can I ask who am I speaking to right now? That was by yourself. That was by yourself, I see. Thank you so much, higher self. You're welcome. So I guess the first important message that you brought to Valbona today is her self-love. Absolutely. And you're saying that the ego may reside and die only when we fully love ourselves? Yeah, because there'll be nothing left that she doesn't know to love herself. And ego had protected everything and she kept, she done right the voice and uh, 
it's kind of part of what was. She's not that person anymore. And that's why you will grab hold when she need to let go. Mm -hmm. I guess but she's not trying the ego to die. She's trying the ego to take a side. When she needs this experience and she doesn't get it. And what well, she doesn't get it? She doesn't get to that stage where she wants to, to have an extreme, real, let's say, experience where her clients go and she can't go. She knows the magic is real, as she call it, but yet she can't experience the magic. She Just made it up the first time. She knows she went to go with it, a feeling, a light feeling, and she multiplied it to put it as a past life. And it was a past life, but she worked hard on it to put it into pictures or to put it into words. I see. I see. This self-love, I guess, this is a journey for all of us, right, in this, on this planet? That is for everybody, but she's sensitive and she doesn't know she's sensitive. She thinks she's strong, but she's sensitive to everything what's happened. She sends the others and she reacts and she feels. She feels like a part of a character and she sees the film and she feels she's that victim. And she lives with that pain. And that's something that she has to work with. Could you advise Valbona on how she could take wiser steps that would bring her to this beautiful achievement? Maybe not quicker, but in more our way. It will come to her in her journey. She is in this journey and there is no stepping back. She used the expression, once a mind expanded, it's not going back. And it's not going back, she's never going to be her old self. She is her new self and she is into a very, very bright path. And this path is going to get brighter always. It's unfortunately it's a step at a time. Unfortunately for her, because she's very, very impatient. <laughs> and that is not going to be eased for her, because that's what it meant to be. It's part of this lifetime journey, I guess. Yeah, it's not an easy journey. It's not easy, but I guess when she's going to hear that message, she will be maybe more... Uh, yeah, she's hearing it and she's saying it. She knows everything. She's hearing it. <laughs> and she's completely here, hearing everything. But at least maybe she won't be so pushy with herself and she will become maybe more yeah, gentle. She knows. She, and enough she knows for her not to be pushy, and yet she has a hard time to change her nature because impatience is being there and she's more calm than ever been before. She thinks, why I'm impatient, I'm the calmest I've ever been. Yet there is work to be done and that comes with time, which is not in her way. She went now and then, things have to take their own journey. She has to experience some things to get to the results she wants. And results always come, she knows, they do come. She asks and we're there. And she knows, but a step at a time is not something she likes. <laughs> I see. I think I'm experiencing similar. So are you saying, can I ask, are you saying that she's um, entering the, the chapter in her journey when the ego will be slowly dying through the self-love? She had entered it quite some time. She never was egoistic. Ego never had a good grip of her. And mm -hmm. maybe that's why... Ego is there just to tell her right and wrong and you know what the other perception was. Uh -huh. But once she drops it of the other perception is so little left of it. Because she doesn't care what the others think. And that is a big change. She used to care. Mm -hmm. What would they say and how would it be and now it's completely gone. And yeah, ego is having her time as well to get crap of her. Mm -hmm. You see, I mean, I obviously we had a hard time uh, with ego trying to for Valbona to experience any past life, but I guess all the sessions always go exactly the way they're supposed to, right? Yeah, she has to wait, she has to wait. The right time will come for her. She's been there, she's done it, and she knows what it feels. Humans always ask too much, and, <sighs> and this right time will be the right time. <laughs> Thank you. Um, can I just ask, um, but she travels to her clients, she feels it, she's there, she sees it, and that should be. She doesn't need confirmation, she, she knows that the magic is real, and she uses this expression a lot to clients, she's saying magic is real. And yes, magic is real. It's definitely, yes. Can I and just she's still in theory now, which is, yeah, 
she knows she's she's powerful right now and she's you know I'm there for her I'm very happy for her too I know that she deserves to hear all that you know because she's I think beautiful she's and she doesn't know it she has to know she's beautiful she cannot never see it in any part of her why is that she never sees and I got upset because she doesn't she had million reasons million ways was given to her people do see her beauty she doesn't see it ever why is that? It's frustrating, I don't know. She never seen it. She always been beautiful since a child. She is remarkable. Neighbors would have adored her and until the older age though they tell her, You used to be beautiful, he loved you. Even old ladies would say, Oh how much I loved you as a baby and she never would have given it to herself ever. Is there any she have to shade that. She have to let something go that she is not worthy of big love or she's not worthy of being called special she doesn't she doesn't see special is a word she thinks she does the best that doesn't make her special and she it's not in her you see she never had the part of ego to say I she never even used the word I me and she till she take that power back she have a journey and that the journey till she do I am. I see. The journey of I am is the journey that is frustrating her. She has to take the power. Is, is, is this the purpose of this session? Valbona traveled quite far to visit me, which I'm so happy and grateful. Yeah, she felt a strong connection with you and when she got in touch with you she flew with joy. She couldn't <sighs> believe that. I'm actually talking to this woman oh. and when you suggested that we meet over a coffee and things she goes wow this is another miracle in its own oh, I've, but I've... you meant because you meant to have this experience and and when you share your time together it's not the trust thing that is completely there but it's because you know what you're talking you don't have to talk too much and to understand the bigger picture you are in the same let's say level of uh, of beauty you understand beauty and you are open to that beauty, to be part of you, to come into your being and to be part of your reality. Some people don't understand the reality you are at. They don't open their eyes, they can't see it. But you just have to talk to each other to experience that each other's word. And that is the beauty and the miracle of you two meeting and was something that was going to happen anyway. That's good to know. Um, just. Going back to my question, I'm sorry, but I really want Valbona to receive as much as she can because she so deserve it. I so agree that she still sees her too ego small. Ego didn't like it. Doesn't like right now. It's the tears are coming from ego that she understands things better, and ego doesn't like that she's got such wiser and you know she doesn't want ego. That is the point of it. So she should stop fighting the ego. What's the best advice? <sighs> she. Sh she always appreciated the ego, that's the thing. She gave credit because she was, and she regret many things in life that she didn't do. She was not bold and she think the ego controlled her. And maybe she's upset that she didn't live her life careless and the ego have put the brakes always on mm -hmm. her. Maybe she haven't forgiven the ego for being there too much in her life. But the ego in control in a way, not the ego of I am, which she should have had the part of the ego I am. And that was missing always. Right, so what's the best advice we can conclude from that? Should she just, should she forgive ego? You did say to her, surrender, surrender, surrender. And some moments she find that peace where she surrender. Mm -hmm. But then she, she experiences that and then she doesn't know how to go back to that space again. She may be frustrated about how do I get to the space again. I know mm -hmm. what is it to go to your heart. Mm -hmm. And she did say it perfectly, I go for the others in that space, I find that space, I can't find it for myself. Mm -hmm. Just because she's not used to be selfish and she can't get to that space for herself. So she, she's, it's difficult for her because she thinks she's selfish when she goes there, that's what you mean? No, she have dropped that, but she have this old patterns which are completely not dropped. She can't be there for herself. She find it bigger value for being there for others. That is foolish, but yeah, she knows it's a belief that she much easier can be there for herself and 
this is she's sabotaging herself and she doesn't know. Mm -hmm. She thinks she's all open to come, all come, but inside, in her beliefs, her strong belief, it's inbreded in her. She's better serving the others than serving herself. I see. Um, I do understand it's going to be a journey for Valbona. I'm sure that this connection today will help her greatly though. Can I, uh, because I understand we won't be going to, to past lives, but can I ask for the meaning of this past life where she was a man that was stoned for something unfairly? Yeah, I'm she sure. related to this very, very heavy th uh, pain in her throat. Yeah. like. And she knew it was injustice, and she just saw a forest in a fog, and was very hard trying to make a picture and to make a sense. She went with the feeling, what is this feeling? And was was a past life, but she had to work hard on it to put it in words. And it was just just a horrible past life. And why did you show her this past life? Yeah, there is so much injustice in the world, it's not black and white, and she doesn't like to believe, and she always believes in goodness, and it's just not reality to her. If it's something injustice done, it's she just wipes it off, it's not something that can happen. And mm -hmm. yes. So are you saying she should be more aware that there's not only goodness and she should be... Yeah, you can come from a good place and get a better result from others, from an outsider to, towards you. Mm -hmm. Even though you start with a big heart and you want the best for that person or that situation and that just can fire in your face and she have to learn how to take it personal ever. It's the other people acting mm -hmm. it, not what you're trying to achieve. It's completely mm -hmm. outside your reality and it's outside you. So everybody has to do what they want to do. It's nothing. You can't judge and be sad, but I had a good intention why it didn't work for this mm -hmm. person or this situation. So are you saying she should be also more cautious, cautious when it comes to trusting people and giving it's her not heart? It's trust. She's not gonna, never going to be harmed from trust, but she's from the outcome. Not to expect a great outcome of something just mm -hmm. because she had the greatest intention. So are you saying that if she wasn't, up until now, when she wasn't meeting the greatest outcome, she would blame herself for that? That's perfectly could be it. Just because she have a great intention mm -hmm. to do good with mm -hmm. what she experienced, she doesn't have to have the result now. Okay, I see. So she, she knows, and she always said, "I came to learn patience." And yes, it's one of the greatest things, the lessons she should learn. <laughs> <laughs> and God, did we give her everything to tell her that? And she knows it now. It's no escaping it. It's plain as daylight, you know. Mm -hmm. I see. That's so nice. But she's making this progress and she's in a completely different place. It's not for as fast as she wanted to be, ever. <laughs> <laughs> she wanted to be yesterday, today, to experience what tomorrow <laughs> brings. <laughs> Everybody who knows her says that. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for that. Thank you. I'm, I'm pretty sure she's going to have some love too, you know. <laughs> she already knows what's yeah. happening. Because, she's here. You know, you know, the funny thing today before we had our lunch, when, when I asked her to write all the questions down, she said, funnily enough, I already know all the answers. Was it you already giving her the answers? Yeah, she is already <laughs> tuned so well and she knows it, but she doesn't believe it. And once she had the first session with that lady she mentioned to you today, she sat in a piece in the car as her son was doing training. She had This lady gave her permission to ask five questions. And the answers were so deep when she sat in her heart. She said, I want to sit and have my answers. I was there helping her. And she knows it came from a greater place. And she knows that this is the biggest thing she experienced. The five answers was detailed and was exactly what the answers were directly from me. Mm -hmm. And That's she knows beautiful. she's been there. She's done it. Once you're in touch with all yourself, she knows it's much easier to access her. And to access that part of yourself, which is a greater knowing. Um, but she ignored it a lot of it. Like, she thinks it's her imagination yeah, as well. I why the answers? Why? Yeah. I completely understand that. Because when we are living such a fast life, and it's so hard to actually stay in the now, we often think that it was our logical mind that was giving us the answers maybe we wanted to hear. Would you give us an advice how we can clearly determine whether it is you speaking to us or is it our logical mind? Like a, 
like a specific difference that we can notice whenever we have this doubt being you trust yourself you just be in your heart you just be in your peace and trust if you don't trust it you're always going to think it's made up then it's a process you see trust doesn't come within a day nothing works like that you have to trust you have to know that this is that higher part of you talking mm -hmm. because you're always going to think you make it up if you have no faith and you have no faith in your faith, what is left there? Nothing. That's true. Valbona was actually mentioning faith today when she was talking about Lorna, how much faith Yeah, Lorna that's what brought. it started with her, actually. In as she called Mystic Ireland, the faith started there. And her opening was there a long time before she even met the QHHT. Mm. Yes, the QHHT. <laughs> uh. <laughs> the biggest love ever. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't know what is love before this, yeah, she knows it, yeah. Yeah, well, when she speaks about QHHT, it's like she's radiating completely different frequency. She's almost like above the ground, I can Absolutely. tell. Absolutely, she met the highest frequency during this. She knows, it, she experienced, she's been in contact, she's there, she's melted, and she has reached the highest possible levels of that love through QHHT. And in a session, it's just, you know, she's completely 1000% part of it. Beautiful. Of everybody. Yeah, you can tell she's got such a beautiful, pure, big heart. I think she's she doesn't overgiving. Know how to use it though. She doesn't use it right at all. Why? She doesn't know how to use it for herself. And then, uh. Uh, because everything is a mirror back and she doesn't use it for herself. It is sensed, it is known. However, she gives it, she it starts with herself. If she doesn't know, she'll never, never reach the highest of her of her journey, she'll never reach what she wants to reach, she'll never find what she wants to find. She won't do as big job as she wants to do if she doesn't know how to love herself. And she's in very first steps. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Please. Yes. Um, I created a portrait for Valbona and one of the messages I received for her is that she is her power and her greatness is so much greater than she is realizing and we had a brief chat about she won't it. Accept it. She won't She's not ready to accept it. I she doesn't know how she radiates. She's been told for herself that you radiate your heart and the lady is such a beautiful. And she just heard it and believed it, but believe in it and feel in it till she know how to feel it. She's not ready for that because she doesn't know how to accept it. She's just, she's very how I call she sees humble. herself as small, yeah. she feels herself as humbled and that nothing, any power is given to her is never going to make her say I do it ever because she's that down to earth but she's a down to earth that she forget to give what she is own, she doesn't give it to herself anybody can say to her but she has to be ready to let it in, to open the gate of this, whatever you call it, the self layers of protection of her, you know, being right and wrong and always doing right and always being good and always doing the best, that the best should come to herself and she, she wouldn't know how to believe that. She's open to believe and yet she doesn't believe and that's, there is a very hard concept in a human way. She have an open herself to that degree that that could be accepted in her field that I am brilliant, I'm great, I'm amazing. She does say to herself and she believes it, but it's a different level she should believe it. At the level of energetic level. So become part of her. She's great, she's amazing. She is yeah a But there must rare. be something she can do, you can advise her to that is part of her journey everything is going to fall in place and she knows how to give that unconditional love and she drops, she still have a lot to drop, a lot of beliefs and lots of layers she have done a biggest job but it's some job ahead I see, I see, all in divine timing absolutely Okay. Um, Valbona obviously brought uh, questions to this um, to this session, uh, would it be okay to start conversation on those questions and... Um, yes, it is. Yeah. Her body feeling very sleepy and she feels like she's out of control and she knows That's that good. I've taken That's over. Good. She's That's okay good. with it because she trusts me. I actually feel proud that I managed to have this connection because she told me it's not going to happen. <laughs> 
she and wanted a fast life like a movie, like she had it before. <laughs> well, and she's not there yet. <laughs> well, we told her, we, we said, oh, we'll leave the expectations and... She dropped the expectation, yet uh, she knows it's not helping her because she has to drop things she doesn't realize she has to drop. She doesn't know she has layers of resistance of self-love. She thinks she loves herself because she... First time she say to herself, I love you, and she knows. She tell herself, you're beautiful, and she knows she is as human beautiful as a heart. But she doesn't believe in a lot of uh, a lot of elements of this beauty that she has. She doesn't believe that she's unique and she's powerful. She doesn't believe in her powers. Till she believes in that, that is what's stopping her, to believe in her own power. She's very powerful and she's not using them at all. See, what are those layers of resistance made up of? Is it the past lives? Is it this life? When has it been created? It's with experiences she had in past lives. She was brought up through very, very strong challenges. She was beaten up in very many ways. Mm -hmm. is there Her any soul is gone through some horrendous stuff. Is there any way we can heal that, resolve that? She haven't forgotten these things. Her soul, it's been, if you say in human way, beaten up and she is hurt. And that's why she have. She should hate the others, but she doesn't for what was brought, brought upon her soul. It was mm. done injustice, after injustice. I see. But I'm pretty sure you are helping her all the time, right? To evolve and those layers of resistance eventually will have to dissolve when we will be entering the, the higher dimensional reality. She said she's open, but she's time. She doesn't have a clue what it means to be open. Right. So what does it mean? It means she has to let the go to her heart and she has found it a couple of times and she knows how it fell and she's looking, she's aiming for that and sometimes she try too hard and it's hard to find the excess. It's like opening close by wanting it so much and it's, the time is not there and the vibration is not there and there is so many elements to match in that higher realm. So she's there in that peace and let go. She have let go of love and of course she'll let more. She'll make her own. Is one way to be more in alignment to completely surrender to God? Absolutely. To surrender everything, every aspect of ourselves, every issue, every... It's not easy to shed all what we ask in and what every human have to do and that's why the hardship and it comes it comes in the stages mm -hmm. and none of the stages is easier than the other and some can be jumped but some are harder than the other I see okay can I before I ask the questions that Valbona brought can I just ask um, you and she's already doubting herself She's saying what is always going on. Okay, okay. Just and tell she her, knows tell she's her talking to too to fast. Sleep. She knows she's not coming from her. And yes, she's doubting it. And she's thinking of the questions coming. Right. Am I going to answer right. the question? Or hire yourself. She's already, you know, in delay. Can you tell her to go to sleep, please? <laughs> <laughs> she's never been easy to control. Um, before we start the, quest the questions, I, I still would like to ask... Um, was my uh, was the guidance I was receiving during the channeled painting that we one hundred percent okay thank you it's no doubt at all that was clear loud and clear and you know it was loud I and know clear. it was very loud I had she yeah but she doesn't too. one percent she haven't accepted it not even one percent she doesn't know she's very humble she doesn't know where to start with that how can I she let for one second and let herself for a second take it in and said ah oh, no. But you know what? I don't exactly know how those paintings work, but I trust my paintings. So I'm so happy she's and got so the you portrait. Should, and so yeah. you should. You'll be more and more open to this. By accepting it, that's much easier for more downloads to you to happen. And it's much. you are more open and you are more in touch and more will happen to you. And you know you're amazing. Thank you. Okay. My first question is from Valbona about Dolores. Canon. 
<laughs> she said I love her and she, yes, knows she loves we her. We both love her, yes. <laughs> it um, changed her life, it really put her in different, it put her, when she was with angels and working with Lorna Byrne and she loved and she believed, she spoke to her angel every day, there was a couple of days she did that and she missed it and then she knew some things she was missing and she was asking herself, what am I missing today? And then, oh, I haven't talked to my angel, I said, oh, I'm sorry, I haven't spoken, <laughs> she was missing it. But now, angels are of the lower level, she's in much, she with this work she touched higher dimensions and she knows she have she have access and she knows she have reached this success and she knows it's the magic and she knows it's it's true and she knows she can touch it and she knows she can send clients there and she travels with them and she knows this is a unique and she knows she's super super lucky with it. Yeah. She calls it lucky and yeah lucky it is. Is it possible for you? to tell Valbona if Dolores is happy with her work. Dolores knows the dilemmas, Dolores knows she's asked for her to talk to Dolores. Dolores have given the message, it's not now, it's not the time. And of course Dolores is happy she's doing this work because she have the knowing she's doing right. She knows that some sort of magic is just present and she feels a peace and it's a very unique thing to travel with clients and she knows she's doing it and she sees what's going on and yeah this is the biggest the biggest thing that happened to her life and she's grateful for it and she's so she she should be grateful because this is very unique and special what's happened in every session in every session so many magics and she 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 really knows and she understands one Dolores those books and she's right now what do I do with all this information <laughs> And she knows it's so much been given to her, far too much. Like she done millions of clients. She can already have the material to write books, which yeah. she doesn't trust. And she can do, she really have to bring it out. There is so many messages given that she really, people have, to, by listening, they'll be opening and say, wow, by listening by clients. And they say, okay, they can see they are down. And they say in this, and yeah, this is amazing. These things are not ever said just for one person, to one person yeah. to hear and for to healing that person or say it for more because waking is, is happening in masses and it's never been faster, it's never been in such a way and yeah, any help the humans can get, they should get it through these sessions and she knows, she knows she's calling herself lazy and lazy she is and she doesn't have trust in herself that she can be heard, she doesn't trust her voice and it is there any interaction that she's doing, she hates her voice in the end and she said if it's put out there I'm rushing it or I'm part of it and people won't believe it and people will think that I implied it and you know because she goes with it, she's so much into the session, this part of the session and she said Oh, then you're wearing a long dress. She can see the dress, and she, when they say they have a golden robe, she sees the golden robe. And when they say I'm bare feet, she sees it. She knows it. She say, Yeah, I know it already. When they say I'm a male, she said, Yeah, I knew. You know, she, and by putting them into these little clips that she have this idea that we gave into her non-stop and haven't happened yet, she thinks it's gonna be like you know she implied it. You know she's you know she's talking with it, and but she's passionate and she her heart is talking. It's not her. She knows she shouldn't do the talking, but she's so much with it, and there's nothing wrong with it because it's sending the session ahead, and it's, she's not doing wrong there. She thinks she is, but she's not. I see. Well, now, now, now she will have the confirmation. I. It's I never easy with her. She doesn't trust much. It have to come from her heart, and her heart is set for the others, and she has to know how to be in her heart for herself. And she finds it very hard, and she knows the hardest part to be in her heart for herself. And hence, she never, she, no, she succeeded uh, to be in meditation, but she never sit in meditation because she's afraid of this. She she thinks that being in her heart for herself, it's going to take, it's taking time of everything else. And it's something that she never done it, and it's new to, and she has to get used to love herself. Mm. She should definitely start putting more effort into creating a business, right? Like YouTube channel to start sharing all those messages. This has been given to her time and time again. The push has been given and she knows it's some higher power pushing her because she's could be, she's driving to school and she's about to send a text to her kids and this idea that YouTube, you know, you should do yeah. it. So she's been given and she knows, she finds it strange that she's been given out of the blue whatever else she's doing and this idea is put in her head and she's taking it as a message. 
she knows it's a mess, she finds it hard. And why she finds it hard? She makes it hard to happen. She made it hard. She's making it hard because uh -huh. of her beliefs. Right. She doesn't care how it's going to be taken. She has dropped that, how she's going to be sound, but she finds it hard and she's making it hard. So what are the beliefs that she has that should be let go? That she'll be accepted for, and this part, every part will be given out. It'll help. She has to know it's going to help other people, and that's what she likes. And if she believes that, what is, what is to give her? Nothing. Mm -hmm. She's giving herself by just procrastination. She hates it, and yet she's doing a lot of it. I know. <laughs> okay, thank you for that. Yeah. Valbona is asking what is next on her journey right now. I guess she's asking about the spiritual journey, the, the life journey, the expansion. She's in the right path. She have, she never imagined to be where she is. She knows she has gone so far. Yet maybe she's afraid of what to come. And she doesn't accept it. She doesn't know she's afraid. Because this has been a big boom. It's been, you know, it takes people many, many years for what's happened to, mm -hmm. to her for the last few years. This has been like, you know, it's been coming in mm -hmm. a big, big way. And she is an all human now. She is open to different understanding and she is a completely a human person. She was the expression, I'm not the woman I used to be. She is not that person at all in any way, state of in any way at all. She's different. She has open to different ideas and she is she is open to a lot and she's more she understands different and see things that others can see, sense things others can sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she express things and sometimes she's aware how they're gonna take it, but yeah. People know her for who she is. She is she always been to one as about everything. And and people know that she'll discard them if you don't trust her. So people are showing faith around her, especially her family, because they know her. If she if she is not meted with trust, honestly, they go on. Mm. Thank you for that. And what would be the best thing for her to concentrate on in the present moment? Um, Keep doing it, because what she's doing is enlightening her a lot. Because this session, she's... She's getting more and more and more, more to come. She's been told more to come, but it's not to be revealed. Sad. Yeah, she's not here. <laughs> she's not like me. <laughs> so it's not yet to be revealed. No, because she's getting it in spades. She knows she's getting it in spades. Not many people get so much happening, <laughs> and she's having it in a big way. <laughs> and she knows maybe it's best for her to handle this way. It's too much given to her. It's far too yeah, much, and so uh, as Dolores said, you have to go step at a time. And she, yeah, she has reached too much. Right. She has been given a lot of different, different ways and different levels. She's been given a lot. She she travelled up and down with this, and she has reached some highs. There is highs. It's unlimited, you know, behind the understanding of human mm -hmm. concept. But she has gone to some heights, and she's gone fast. And that speed, it should be steady for a while. I see, I see, okay. Um, yeah, we mustn't forget that we have the human life to go through as well, right? Apart from exploring those higher dimensions. Absolutely, that's where it gets harder and confusing. Yeah, mm. stay grounded in life, yeah. Well, letting me answer this now. <laughs> well, she's not Because she knows he's special. She knows he meant to be with her. Because with everything he coped, the first stages of the relation was not other men would do it, absolutely not. Because his beliefs are true, they meant to be together. And he knows that she's special and he accepts everything of her. Not many would. There was no man who would cope with so much change. For a man that is not awake, but he's open to listen, mm -hmm. he takes on board anything. Right. He is very, very, very much for her. No other man would be right now in her life, right one. Absolutely nobody would have stand it. She would have fallen with any man. I see. Um, the next question, uh, is she, what is she going to do when she grow up? Is she going to leave, live in England? 
she's going to want to be everywhere. She's going to want to experience, as she say, everything. She's unique. She's love. And her love is going to do so much for her. And everybody that is in touch with her is so blessed. She is just amazing. She's extension of love. She is very mature. She's beautiful. And everybody will see her beauty. She is not physical beauty. She is physical, but it was more beautiful what she radiance. Mm. Her aura is just spark of God, and it goes a very, very long way. She'll touch people around her always, and they'll feel that, and they'll know that she, she's the one to have cause. She's very, very, very special. She, uh, she used to be as a baby with a touch she would heal, but she has that in her aura now. The touch has expanded. She is a healing energy. Mm. She is a bubble of joy and she is one love that is super special. They are lucky anybody that come in touch with her. They are so lucky mm -hmm. because they understand love and they react different after being in touch with her. Beautiful. Beautiful. Our children are so special, so more advanced. Definitely they are. And what about uh, Valbona's son's future? Will he be happy and successful? He's always a genius and he, he's always going to get the best, the greatest achievement. He's never an issue, he's never, absolutely nothing. He's going to do anything and everything in his life. He's amazing and yeah, all his gifts as you know he have, he knows how to use them. Oh, okay, so she doesn't need to worry he that he's lazy He's more sometimes. clever than clever, he's yeah. a different degree clever. He Valbona is asking, uh, is asking, are there any lessons that she came here to learn that she um, that she didn't learn yet, or she is not seeing them, that she there's something important she should learn? I think she learned some lesson faster than she should have, because she jumped in QHHD and too many gates were open at once. Mm -hmm. So, there is few lessons, but they're going to come slowly. Slowly is not the word she likes, but yes. Mm. <laughs> they are to be revealed because she has reached that height that she should stay where she is now. I see. Thank you. Um, can we please check if there are any vows or uh, promises made throughout the time and space during... She had let them go herself. She knew how to do it and she had cut okay. them. Sometimes she cut a vow and then she straight away go back into it with her belief and she knows she's doing it. All oh, right. But, but she, she, she and energetically she's clear of any vows and promises. She pretty much knows that she is in present of a, a session. She knows that she's clear herself and she knows a lot mm -hmm. are happening and her beliefs have changed and that it makes her energy feel to be of different. Okay. of different power and she knows that. I see. Um, she knows a lot happening in her sessions. She knows that if miracles and she say to clients this is the golden keys but she knows she gets a lot of gold out of it herself. Great, so all she needs to do really is to work on her current beliefs. She knows by this session it's a lot she's shedding off herself. Not because what's come along but by level of energy that is present at and she knows the presence of energies is so high mm -hmm. and she's being healed in level that she understands or she doesn't understand. That she recognizes or she doesn't recognize. And she recognizes a lot of it, but some things are being shed without her knowing. I see. Because she travels in her sleep, she has vivid dreams and she knows a lot of happening to her in her sleep and some stuff she doesn't understand and that's the way it should be. They're gone, they go. gone. They don't serve her and they're gone. She is in the best path and she is the highest she could be in this time, in this present moment. Thank you. That's, that's really beautiful. We have walked so fast, like people take in human times 30 years what she achieved in three years. Another question is about actually Valpona and myself. Have we... Is it... I want to jump there and say two beautiful souls mm -hmm. fly. Two flying light souls. Are we from the same origin planet? I say you are very, 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 very long time ago. You were just sisters. I feel you're too close. You are just two sisters like you, inseparable. And you feel it, she feels it when you see it in your eyes that you are some deep love. Yeah, you are close, you're very close, like two sisters that you never separated. I can't say you're twin, 
thoughts, but you are so, so close to each other. Like you shared everything together. You shared toys, you shouted everything together. You are just, is you played together and you just did everything together. You are just more than the best. There was no word to explain mm -hmm. how much you are close with each other. I can feel that. I can yes. definitely feel that. And she feel it and she doesn't understand it. <laughs> <laughs> Bless her. <laughs> yeah, she feels the beauty in her eyes and she in your eyes and she doesn't understand. She thinks you're a deep beauty as a soul, but she sees when you've been together. She understands she's back in the time when you play together. You are seeing little kids together. And you shared so much love. You're inseparable. You lived nearly the playtime and the childhood time together. You lived it together. You lived for those moments to share together to play. You're just two most beautiful, careless souls. And that was in your probably early experiences of your souls. Beautiful. Thank you for that confirmation. You're welcome. It's a good confirmation for her. She look at you, she knows something is <laughs> different. It's, it's a beauty of woman, a beauty of a soul. So we are very But you don't to realize your own beauty and she knows that and she said it a few times. Can You're of a different level as well. Can I ask, was there any specific reason wh why we connected in this lifetime? To realize your own beauty. None of you knows how amazing you are. And amazing is a word that human use, but you are of different level. You are the beauty within, until you bring it out of yourself and know it that you have it, own it. Mm. That is to mirror each other. Thank you. Yeah. This is now very, very important question with a big help, ask, please. help and exclamation mark from Valbona. What is going on with her smell and taste? What is the message behind it and how can it be healed? Please help. It's going on for some time and it's going to go for as long as it's been already. It's the doubts. It's everything that have to be shed. Once it's gone, she's going to shed some more. Doubts about what? That's doubts about her greatness. And he's telling why everything smells the same and tastes the same. He's telling her that that fear is something solid. It's something that she's not shedding, that she should shed the love for herself. And that's why everything is the same. It's that very strong feeling she has. And she doesn't know she has it, that she is not, if I say worth it, she, say she thinks that she's worthy the greatness, but it's something that keeps her which is to do with self-love. So is it? Is it it's, it's, a, it's a metaphor of what she's not letting go. And she knows when she's gone, she has shed a lot. That's her way of letting go. So it's like we said earlier, she's not tasting the self-love. Something exactly like that. Exactly that, because she's loving it so much, things to taste for what they are. Ah. And sometimes everything tastes the same. Imagine a toothpaste is the most disgusting thing, as she say, it is Yuck, it's horrible, it's disgusting, it makes you vomit, but she's been strong about it. And everything is still the same smell, the same taste, it's absolutely vile. But something she's needs handling to change. very well because she's open to it and she's letting it happen. In and she said, Let it be what you're teaching me, so till she get to that level that she's really wanted self love. It's gonna be going on as long as it's been. If she thinks it's two weeks, so in nothing human can time, be done today. Two more weeks. Two when more she, weeks. Okay. If she thinks it's two weeks, it's two weeks to go. Okay. Thank you. She's begging for it. She's asking. She's, she's, yeah. she's asking in every way. Because it's very uh, disturbing to not being able to feel, taste the food. Never mind the smell, but the food. You she know, was she was okay with that when she smelled nothing and tasted nothing, and she had started, and this is got disgusted. Yeah, it is disgusting. It's absolutely vile. Oh, what a way it's, to She teach. can't explain it, but it is absolutely vile. Like you're eating the worst kind of horrible thing that human ever have to, ever tasted. Mm. And she's handling very well. She doesn't know, but she's doing good. She said that that's a big test. Yeah, definitely. And a very hard way to get where she Very hard, get. yeah. Very, very. It's just hard. It's horrible. Um, thank you for that too, it's a very good explanation. Um, at least we know where she needs to take the steps forward to, you know, help yeah. herself. Um, are there any messages for her from the voice there? She knows him, being in touch with him always, and he's so close to her, and he really have given her a lot of love, and she knows she speaks to him. And 
she knows he never left uh, in a in level that he has so much love to share and they had so much love for each other and he feels her love and he knows she knows he's going to give the message I love you all <laughs> thank you yeah. there's um, too much love there far too much love in this family unbelievable, unconditional love there's too much love, the others say whoa, this family, yeah, it is far too much love love that brings you to tears the healers came to this family and said whoa, I feel the love they are so close and so loving and whoa, it's some overbearing for some families they never knew what love is some other families what they experience too much love too much closeness sometimes too much because you know if they don't talk to each other every day they feel oh something has happened but far too much love and care for each other mm -hmm. amazing thank you and do you have any other messages for Valpona anything she should uh, change in her life right now let go of any people or situations She's done so much. She should be happy where she is. I know she's eager and impatient is always something that gets on the way, but please be patient. You've heard it, it's in a cliche, but you should. You're going to learn it. There is no other way. Till you learn patient, things are not going to come to you. <laughs> yeah, it's the hardest of all lesson. And you decided to learn it in this way, and the way you have gone so ahead already. You should see what you you got. You you what you're gonna get. You have got so much to work with. But what what you know, what you believe, and what you know, you have where you what you can meet, what you can talk with, what you can communicate. Do more of what you're doing. Just be where you are, and you know you are already somewhere, somewhere that you should understand it and value value it. I know you do, and she knows she does. Mm. But be happy with this for now. Thank you. Because you have to get used to all this bigger. There are big, big, big changes already in her, like serious changes. Let them be with these changes for enjoy them. Thank you. Okay. Um, that was all of her written questions, but of course I would like you to I would like to ask you to perform full body scan if that's okay. And I wanted to ask Valbona gave me a permission to ask a few questions for myself. Is yes, that please okay? Do so. Um can we do that before we do the body scan? Because I wouldn't like to take that time. As it fits, no, you can do it then now. Thank you. Um, I would like to ask, am I clear of vaccination and safe to take a second? Ah, you don't have any worry. Your belief it's what you get in your body. You believe it's good for you, it'll be good for you. That is coming through everything and you have nothing to worry. Nothing is going to keep you down. You are so high already. They are not going to vaccinate you and bring your anything, your vibration and your energies down. Nothing can do it. Absolutely. They can throw hundreds at you. They can just bathe you in them. Mm. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Do you not worry at all? I would not even ask the question about it again. So I don't need to worry about my health. Absolutely. There is some other powers that work around you. That they, you use the word nullify earlier. They are nullified. It ain't gonna do you nothing. Thank you. Um, believe it, please. I believe I'm safe with that. I just needed my my ego needed confirmation. So thank you for that. Um, you are. I, I, I feel like I'm on a crossroad. Not always. Crossroad. When you have a question, you feel like you're in crossroad. That's where humans put themselves. They have a question. They have the answer. They do good with it, and then when they come to another question, they put themselves in crossroad. They know how to get through crossroads, but then they prefer to to be stuck there. And I don't want to feel stuck. Doubt is a crossroad. You are doubting yourself. And you think it's crossroad. It's not a crossroad. It's a part of the journey. You're walking. You're going fast. You're flying. Why would you stop in crossroad? You don't need to stop. You just fly. And you're knowing. It's your inner knowing who is your answer. Just go with it. And trust it. If you trust it, you don't have to stop anywhere. Am I ready for my mission then? You've been ready a long time ago. So is my mission to be the channel for higher dimensional beings? You are already in a great, great path and you have achieved so much and by believing yourself you're just going to achieve even what you call achievement you're going to have 
if I say it in a human way, greater, deeper understanding or what you get. Because you get a lot. You don't transmit back, you're not even 10%. But believe in yourself, you're going to give out more. Would you like to give it? You like to, you like to make others enlightened. You like that you are enlightened. You are more enlightened than you know and more than you give out. You want to give it, but just because of you have some beliefs that are not coming clear through you because you are a human and you are allowed to. So you can bring fire out of your body. I don't feel good enough because I smoke and sometimes I have wine. <laughs> it's absolutely nothing. Why would you have to worry? They are invented and they should be used. They are pleasure and so to be used. It's absolutely nothing. You, why not? If that what makes you happy, so be it. I would never worry about it. That won't bring your vibration low. That won't help you. Channel that won't help you for the greatness to come through you. Greatness is in you. You never lock it. You lock it only with your system beliefs. You don't lock it with anything of a pleasure, anything that you enjoy of the moment. It could be a short-lived or long-lived enjoyment. You are not going to stop it. If it makes you enjoyment, it's bad for you to enjoy it. Do not doubt it ever, please. Even if it harms my body? It's going to harm your body if you believe it harms your body. Why would you want to believe it harms your body? Why do you want to do that to yourself? If you know you are powerful. I see. You can, drink, you can drink poison and it won't harm you if you know it won't harm you. I know. If it's like Why do you think a bit of alcohol is going to harm you? You know better. Why do you fall so back into that human being? You are already out of that shell. You can go back in that shell anytime you choose to be, because it's free will and such will be. But if you want to do that, you know you're doing it to yourself. Mm. Thank you. In your eyes, they understand you. And they accept you, they understand you. It's part of what they call acceptance. I would love to move to California this year. I can't stand being here That's anymore. part of that ready-made answer, which I can't give. I don't think why. But you have must have made, you have made your own vows there. You don't want to help with it. Absolutely unconscious. If you go deep in your heart, you know you don't want the answers. You want to live through this because that is helping you. Is it my? I think it's my into the unknown going. You funny enough, you enjoy the unknown a bit. You know it or you don't know it. Unknowing excites you. I always said I like surprises, the nice you see? one. <laughs> you see, you're agreeing with me, even though you want to have the answer, but you're agreeing with me. Even though you think I'm giving you nothing, but I'm giving you what you have decided and what you want. You don't want to have the answers, because you know you are learning so much because I'm learning through these experiences. Because I'm of control, thanks to not knowing. You know more than you know. You have such a deep knowing. And you let them flow once or occasionally you let them out. But yeah, you have chosen it this way because this is the way it should be and it's helping you. It's helping you much, much more than you understand it. And you don't have to understand it all because then you wouldn't understand anyway. <laughs> Thank you. Can we now please perform full body scan for Valpona? To see if everything is okay with her physical body, if there is anything that needs healing. Anything she should pay attention to. She never been healthier. She knows she talks to her body. She knows she's listened to. She knows because she sees the changes. She's in a top form. So is Sometimes she doesn't believe it, but yeah, she never felt better and she knows it. Anything she should pay attention to, like minerals, vitamins? She starts and she gives up. It's a game always, you know. She, she's doing good, so if she feels like taking them, it makes her, as we say, we go to that belief thing. The beliefs will help her, it'll help her. If she put that idea in her mind, on the, when she had it after the corona, she thought it's good, she was happy to experience it, and then she had, and she gives up, she doesn't keep up with it, but hey, so be it. It's, it's, that's the way it is, you know. Thank you for that. Thank you so much for yeah, all the yeah. Any final messages for Valbona before we end this session? I can't say she couldn't do any bit faster than she had already done. For now, she is absolutely out there. She is where she meant to be. She had her frustration, but she had her lessons to learn. 
that will come in time. I can't give her a ready-made either. She is learning a lot from what she thinks she can't get. She has to get there in her time. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm giving you such a big thank and if I could I would give you a hug. Um, <laughs> thank you so, so much. She felt like doing the same. <laughs> um, now I am asking the higher self to recate to where it belongs with so much love and it was such an amazing pleasure to speak to you today. Thank you so much uh, for all the help and all the information that you've been given to Valbona today. I know she is going to really appreciate it. 